Hello everyone and welcome to summer daily vlog number two. We're on a roll, two days in a row. I shouldn't celebrate yet, that's not much of an accomplishment. But, uh, hello, welcome to June 2nd. You guys will be watching this, it's June 1st for me. We are headed to Stella's therapy appointments. I'm not sure which ones it is, we have two today. So our options are physical therapy, speech therapy, or occupational therapy, so it's two of those, I just don't know which ones. After that, we have to find a grocery store because I am having a dinner guest tonight. My boyfriend Brian is coming over, so I'm trying to impress him with my wifely cooking skills. Just kidding, but also not kidding. Uh, so yeah, we have to go get stuff for that. And then while Stella's in therapy, because Bible and I wait in the car while she's in there, I'm going to clean out my car. And I have my birthday vacuum for that. It's already full of Cheerios because I vacuumed a little bit in here yesterday. All right, so we made it to therapy. This is Stella dressed in pink today. I told her she looked like a flamingo and I told Five Will he looked like a turkey because Five Will always looks like a butterball turkey. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for her appointment and no look- No alligators. No alligators? Yeah, there's no alligators here. Alligator? No, even if we ask for one, they're not gonna give us one. Yeah, no, no alligators. But if you look no, at no this disaster of a no, car, no this is what I'll be doing while she's a in there. Bear? Yeah, they don't have bears either, unfortunately. A cat? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Sometimes there's a dog in there. I don't see why they can't have a therapy cat. Cat. Yeah, cat. Dog? Yeah, there's sometimes a dog. You see elephant? Definitely no elephants. So I'm actually at Publix for the first time, the grocery store. I thought these were only in Florida, but I knew that we had a couple of them here. I just haven't gone yet, uh, so maybe it's just a southern store. I don't think we had any in Illinois. I'm not going to film in there because the kids are getting hungry for second breakfast, and I imagine they're going to throw a fit, but I do have blow pops in my purse, so I might bribe them. My biggest issue right now is trying to figure out if they have double carts or I'm going to have to put Stella in the big part of the cart, and this is going to be a nightmare. Okay, let's go. Okay, I want everyone to remember this room exactly how it is because it is clean. It's not gonna stay that way. Also, if you're wondering where all of the toys are, because yes, there's a lot more than what's in this room right now. It's mainly this closet that is just full of toys. And all of the books from the bookshelf are in the other closet. But if I give them all of the toys at once, they will be scattered across the apartment in under five minutes. Okay, it's a couple hours later and I'm making a huge mess, but I knew if I didn't film myself prepping this food and then I showed the food and it looked good, someone's gonna be like, where was the recipe? Where was the tutorial? So right now I'm shredding um, Parmesan cheese, this big old brick. Um, I'm gonna mix this with breadcrumbs and sun-dried tomatoes and garlic and probably some parsley and I'm gonna stuff the mushrooms with it. In here I have Brussels sprouts that I cut into fourths. This is gonna saute with some butter and maybe bacon. I haven't decided yet and that's gonna go in the pasta. And then in here, I cut all of the fresh strawberries from the farmer stand yesterday, and I put some lemon juice and a little bit of sugar on them. Here's the mushroom caps that I bought at the grocery store, already prepared for stuffing. And then here's the bruschetta that I made yesterday. Okay, so yeah, disaster over there. But I did stuff the mushrooms. This is what they look like before they go in the oven. I'll probably put these in when I think he's like 15 minutes away. So when he gets here, those are ready. And now I'm going to cut up this loaf of French bread that I bought at Publix today. I'm going to keep that just wrapped in the plastic until he gets here. This will take like five minutes to post, post, toast in the oven. I'm getting stressed because he's supposed to be leaving. 3.30 now in an hour. He's in Nashville and it takes an hour to get here. So I've got two hours basically. Is that how that works? Two hours? Anyway, I'm gonna slice this bread and then when I'm about to put it in the oven, I'm gonna put this garlic butter over it so that way it toasts all nice and then the bruschetta is gonna go on that. It's gonna be so good. Okay, I'm ready and this is the only way I can get good lighting but I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I am definitely trying entirely too hard. Check the apron. I'm also wearing a dress that I got from Walmart a little bit ago, and Stella has a matching apron, but she will not be wearing it because she's wearing a pretty dress. What's a donut? What a donut? I just made a huge dinner. 
but this is her little dress. I think we got this from the store that's not Play-Doh's Closet. It's the one for kids. I can't remember what it's called. Ryan has actually not met my kids yet. Well, actually, that's a lie. Fievel woke up once when we were hanging out and wouldn't go back to bed, so he came out to the living room for a bit and said hi, but other than that, he hasn't met them, not for any particular reason. I feel like when people think of single moms dating, they think they introduce them to every dude that they meet, and they're like, this is your new dad, and that's not the case. Um, he's gonna be my friend, Brian, until further notice. I have also talked to his daughter a few times who is the same age as Stella, which is super fun, and she's great, and I am her dad's friend, which is really sweet. So, yeah, that's how things are going. I imagine things are gonna go well because he's a really great dad, and that's one of my favorite things about him. So, yeah, hopefully dinner turns out well, though, because I didn't use a recipe for anything. What are you up to? Oh, and this is Fievel's handsome guy outfit. A flower? That reminds me, I should put this away before he gets here. It's a flower. You see a flower. Neat flower. Neat flower. It's flower. I don't think you guys are ready for this. Five will turn around. Five will. Oh my goodness, the little chef. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my gosh, I wish I had three. Aprons, not kids. Okay, mushrooms are in the oven. Bruschetta is on the charcuterie board that my parents got me for my birthday, super exciting. I don't think we need any of these, but look at the utensils, I think that's really cute. There's also more on this side. All right, don't hate me. I didn't film Brian, um, he'd probably be up for it if I asked him to. But at the same time, I don't think he would enjoy it. But if he is around for like the long haul, like we end up dating for a really long time, I'm sure you guys are gonna see a ton of him. So it's not like we're in any rush to introduce him to the internet. Aside from that, he kept offering to help me clean up the kitchen, which I should have just sucked it up and said yes, because now I've gotta clean all of this up. Brian, I hope you're not watching this because you're gonna be like, I asked you several times if you wanted me to help you clean and you said no, which I did, but now I have to clean and I hate it. All right. Off to bed, little girl. Off to bed. I told you guys this room wasn't gonna stay clean. Good night. And now I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night because I am exhausted. I did clean the kitchen. I'm gonna wait until the dishwasher is done running though before I go to bed because I live alone and I am very paranoid about um, noises at night and my dishwasher makes really loud clicking noises sometimes and I think it's someone trying to kick down my door so that's fun anyway I just uploaded daily vlog number one that you guys have already watched by now hopefully if you haven't go check out yesterday's video uh, and you guys seem to be really excited that we're doing daily vlogs again so hopefully I'm able to keep it up and I don't let you guys down I'm very motivated right now and I'm looking forward to this summer and all of the things that I have planned so I hope these videos continue and that they aren't too boring. But if you guys have any recommendations for my bucket list, I am looking to do anything in like Northern Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, uh, maybe even we'll take a road trip at some point this summer. I am having a Vax Girl summer or whatever it's called. I'm vaccinated so I can go places now. Uh, regardless I don't know maybe we could try camping at some point maybe I'm getting a little too ahead of myself I've never been camping that could be a major disaster with two kids but we'll see how it goes if you have any suggestions let me know otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one